Section 9.2, um, this is the last way that you guys will be taught how to solve these equations. And this way is by elimination. So we taught, we learned about substitution. This way is called elimination. So the way this works basically is you're going to be subtracting the two equations and solving for one of the variables. So subtracting the two equations, getting rid of one of the variables, and then solving for the other one. So the first thing you always want to look for is can I use substitution or if you even want to use substitution, but if you want to, you probably want to have one variable on its own, so by itself, with no coefficient. In this case, I don't have that. Every single one of the variables has a coefficient attached to it. So next thing I do is I look at the coefficients in front of a, 6 and a 4. What's a common multiple? Or actually, what's the LCM, the lowest common multiple? And the lowest common multiple between 6 and 4 is 24. How do I get 24 from 6? Well, I multiply by 4. How do I get 24 from 4? I multiply by 6. What you would do is you would multiply the entire equation by 6 and the top the entire equation by 4. Otherwise, you could look at the values in front of B and you would say, what's the LCM of 5 and 3? Well, it's 15. What do I multiply 5 by? Well, you multiply it by 3. What do I multiply, multiply 3 by? You multiply it by 5. So it's up to you which one you want to do. Um, let's do the first one, just so I can show you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to pick 4 and 6. And I'm going to multiply the first entire equation, including the 24, by 4. And the second entire equation, including the 12, by 6 because I want the values in front of A to be the same, so when I subtract, I can eliminate them. So let's see what happens on the top here. I get 24A multiplying by 4 plus 20B, again, multiply through by 4, equals 4 times 24 is 80, 96. Next thing I do is I multiply the second equation by 6, so I get 24A, which is good, that's what I wanted, these two to be the same. I multiply the 3 by 6, so I get 18b. 12 by 6 is 72. Next thing I do is I subtract the two equations. So when I subtract, you have to make sure that you're subtracting the entire equation. Everything. The a's, the b's, and the numbers. And remember, I'm subtracting. So 24 minus 24 is 0. 20 minus 18 is 2b, and 96 minus 72 is 4, 9 minus 7 is 24. Solve for b by dividing by 2, so you get b is equal to 12. Are you done yet? Well, not really. You have to substitute the 12 into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. Because this, is, this represents an intersection point, you can substitute it into the first one or the second one. It's going to be the same intersection point for both lines, so it doesn't matter. So let's do the first one. So I plug it in. 6a plus 5. Remember, I'm substituting the value of 12 in 4b. So 5 times 12 equals 24. I work this out. I get 6a plus 60 equals 24. Subtract 60. So I get 6a is equal to, and remember, always use a calculator if you're unsure. So I get 24 minus 60 equals negative 36. And then divide by 6, divide by 6, I get a is equal to negative 6. So at some point in time, even with elimination, you're going to have to substitute your value back into one of the equations. Again, it doesn't matter which one. Let's look at another example here. So I get 5g plus 4s, I put my s's like that because otherwise they look like 5s, equals 26, and 3g plus 2s equals 15. Again, look for the LCM of each one. What do I want to, what do I want to eliminate, the g's or the s's? Well, for the g's, my LCM is 5 and 3 is 15. For my s's, what's my LCM in this case? Is it 8? Well, it could be, but it's also 4, right? Because 2 goes into 4. So let's use the, let's use the S terms, because I think it's going to be a bit easier. So I go ahead and I multiply. 
well, I want the s terms to be the same. My LCM is 4. Oh, it already is 4. Oh, so I don't have to multiply by anything. So basically multiplying by 1. Or just staying the same. What about the second equation? Well, I want this uh, number in front of the s to be the same as that one. So I have to multiply by 2. So the first equation stays the same. I haven't changed it. It stays 5g plus 4s equals 26. Second equation, I'm multiplying by 2. So I get 6g plus 4s equals 30. Now, I want to get rid of the s's. Look at the signs. It's a plus 4 and a plus 4. Well, in order to eliminate it, I subtract it. If the signs were different, if one was negative and one was positive, then I would add, right? Because a negative 4 plus a 4 is 0. A negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. A negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. 4 minus 4 is 0. What if they were both negative? What if I had a negative 4 and a negative 4? Would I add or subtract to get 0? Well, if I add, I already got it up there. It's negative 8, so I have to subtract. Why? Because two negative signs will change to a positive and get me to 0. So make sure you understand how to do adding and subtracting with negatives. So I subtract. 5 minus 6 is negative 1g. 4 minus 4 is 0, gone. 26 minus 30 is negative 4. So what's my g equal to? Divide by negative 1. So g is actually equal to 4. All right, am I done? Almost. I just got to plug my g back into one of the equations. Again, it doesn't matter which one. It's up to you. Let's use the second one. So I get 3. And remember, this is 3 times g. So it's 3 times 4 plus 2s is equal to 15. You can use the bigger equation too. You're not going to get a wrong answer. It's just you're going to be dealing with bigger numbers because it's just a multiple of what I have before. So everything else kind of stays the same. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2s equals 15. Subtract off my 12. Subtract off my 12. So I get 2s is equal to 15 minus 12 is 3. So I get s is equal to 3 over 2. And that's my final answer. So I have two values, g is equal to 4, s is equal to 3 over 2, and I'm done. Yes, it's okay that one of them is a fraction. <clears throat> okay, setting up word problems. This is going to be a hint for the your, your turn question. So I got two students, stu two student tickets, and six adult tickets cost $102. Then I have eight student tickets and three adult tickets cost $114. What is the price of each ticket? So remember that we have to set up an equation. We have to set up equations. So my first equation, two student tickets. Well, you gotta assign a variable for that. So let's call that S. Six adult tickets, let's call that A. So two students are gonna be two S and which means plus six adult tickets, so 6a costs, which means equals, $102. The second one, eight student tickets, so I have 8s and plus three adult tickets, three adult tickets costs, so that's going to be equals again, 114. So that's basically how you set up that question. How am I going to solve this? probably using elimination because I can't get one of the variables on its own. Which one am I going to eliminate? The S's or the A's? Again, it's up to you. I would probably choose the A's though because I look at this, I see the LCM being 6. So that means I just have to take the first equation and actually no, just the second equation, right? Because the first equation already has the 6 there. So I take the second equation and I multiply it by 2. So I get 16s plus 6a equals 228. Don't forget to multiply the number on the other side by 2 as well. And the first, equa the first equation stays 2s plus 6a equals 102. From there, you would subtract the whole equation to get rid of the 6s. The 
Subtract 2 minus 16, solve for s, substitute it back into one of these equations to solve for a. Then you would solve for how much an adult ticket is and how much a student ticket is.